This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. The title of this video clip is Nethics and Netiquette. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What are some of the considerations you should be aware of regarding dig digital citizenship? Number two, what are the links between dig digital citizenship, consumerism, and creative opportunities? Number three, what is the significance, according to Alex Kuros, of the anti-SOPA campaign? And number four, what is the significance of putting media and literacy tools in the hands of our students? Rather than presuming to be able to do, a better, to do better justice to the ideas that should be considered in this area, I'm going to use a process that is similar to retweeting, as I'm going to suggest that you view Alex Kuros' section, session in the Change 11 MOOC, uh, that is Massive Open Online Course, as posted earlier this year. The video clip uh, that the link is given to you on the, the screen is approximately 75 minutes in length, so be forewarned. At least the first hour of it is very, very worthwhile uh, taking a look at. There is an associated course wiki which further explores most of uh, the areas that are touched upon in the actual video clip itself. That link is also given on the slide. For theoretical considerations, to finish off this area, a few additional considerations regarding the social order can be found on the page that is uh, given on the link. And this page was created for the Learning with ICT course in the BEd program, and we've referenced related links before. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, what are the dangers involved with current attention given to cyber predator threat to the exclusion of other concerns and why is this important? Number two, what is digital citizenship and or digital identity and why should we be concerned about these issues for ourselves and for our students? And number three, comment on the Seth Godin quote, open quote, everything you do now ends up in your permanent record. The best plan is to overload Google with a long trail of good stuff and to always act as if you're on candid camera, because you are, end quote. And the link to Seth Godin's blog is given uh, in the slide itself. That brings us to the end of this video clip. Really, really short because Alex Kuros is really, really long. Anyways, I uh, hope that we'll end up with some very good conversations as a result of uh, your viewing of Alex Kuros's uh, session. That brings us to the end of this video clip.